Kia ora salopa. Welcome to Coco Sports Talk with me, Zan Ash. Bakalo Falahiatu. This episode, we're going to be focusing on the Commonwealth Games. And first up, we're going to speak to some of the new way and boxers who will be representing you for the very first time. De Niro, Paul Clark, and Duke and Williams. And just a side note, De Niro is also a cousin, so we're very proud of him representing The Rock this time round. Bakalo Falahiatu, Kia Butulu Ushi, Ko Hingoa Haku, Ko De Niro Paul. I'm from New Zealand, New Zealand born. Hi, I'm Deacon Williams. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Greenland too. Uh, I'm from the villages Hapuku and Liku and Nui. Yeah. Uh, so right now, I think we need about like four and a half grand left to fundraise for our team. I think the amount of rep, every rep is counted, and then that's a dollar each rep. Yeah. Yep. So 4,000 reps. Everybody's in there now <laughs> trying to do those 4,000 reps. Thanks, guys. <laughs> my family, my dad. My dad pretty much guided me. Do all the boxing since I was like a little kid, and pretty much I like the sport. I like, I don't like fighting, like thing, but I like the, the well, like the determination and what it takes. Uh, I got into boxing through my first trainer, uh, Mickey B. He offered me to fight at the gym, but I didn't really take it at first. But after I left school, I didn't make it in rugby league, so I took up another path, and here we are now. When I joined CKB. All of us, recent, all past fighters that used to train or train there, all good fighters. I but asked them, who do you guys start training? They all mentioned Lolo, and I was like, looking in the back of my mind, I kept like, I need to see this guy. And then, just by chance, when I left CKB, I started training with one of his students, um, Xavier, down at the park during the last, last lockdown. And then from there, I he mentioned about coming to Armand. Ever since then, everything's just been taken off. It's been good. It's, I've, learned, I've learned a lot more. I thought I knew heaps about boxing, but prior to that, but going and training with the boys, and I've learned heaps off these him and Xavier as well. Yeah. You know, gold, gold medal. I, people talk about I'll be good with a, a bronze or a silver. Like nah, that doesn't even cross my mind. Gold, gold's at the top. Yeah. What divisions are you fighting? I'll be fighting at heavyweight. Cool. I'm fighting at 63. So I think they're like lightweight, I think. Yeah. Every country that's part of the common under that falls under the Commonwealth gets to compete. Um New Air don't have many boxes. So the way we got into the team was I never planned on going for New Air to the Commonwealth Games. But training with Lolo, um, Xavier was already planning to go for New Zealand. Mm. Uh, one boxer who's already gone to the games for New Year, his name's Travis. He he requested that Lolo would train him. So it was all like by like, like a miracle and by chance yeah. that the guy that wanted to be trained or wanted to be trained by Lolo just happened to be the gym that I just recently joined, and Xavier was already at. Yeah. So then Xavier made the switch to he gave up his his spot in New Zealand to. Um, to go for New Year. And it was just by chance that I just recently started training there too, and I, I'm me being New Year, they offered me the chance as well to go. Same as Nero. Mm. Oh, I'm the last of the group. Yeah, okay. so he needed, yeah. they, we, they needed one more boxer, and then yeah. me and Nick's, no, New Year, um, and Nero's a New Year boxer, so we all kind of just formed together. That means everything. I get yeah. to like make my parents proud. My parents put full New Year. I get to represent a small, small island. And we get to make this too. Yeah. Like, we're gonna make this too. Yeah, no, it's like a massive, it's like a massive, like, accomplishment for us. Especially my, my little brother, like, and he's, he's done very well. I knew he was gonna make the team as well, but it's fuzzy, he's like, we're both going over there. And we're getting, like, all the support we need as well, so yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Go, 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 Dylan! What do you want? What do you want? Go, 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 Dylan! Just have to sign up. Have to just have to give it a go, I guess. Yeah, give yeah. it a give it. Yeah, like yeah, you know, said, give it a go. You don't you don't know, you don't know until you try it. Yeah. Like two of my little cousins, they just started boxing. We had some sparring. When first mm. Their first sparring ever. They've been doing lots of pad work, lots of training, and then their first punch in the face, and they started crying. <laughs> so I think yeah, give it a try, and if you if you really want to do it, like, yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah. They, they still want the box, obviously. Mm. Oh man, it's a 
Nero and Duke and were so cool to be a part of their like fundraiser. But did yeah. you actually also know that the Boxy Nero have four people going? So uh, also Xavier and Travis will be joining De Niro and Duke in over in Birmingham. Yeah, and you wear boxing. I also thought it was really cool that legendary coach Lolo Hamuli is um, coaching the boys this time. He also took the Tongan team in 2010 and they medaled. So, yeah, he is hoping for the boys. Gold. Gold. For New Year. Like Duke and said, gold. Gold. <laughs> gold. Gold. Let's go. Uh, they're very talented, of course. Um, there are little things we need to work on. Uh, but. They definitely uh, a metal prospect if we hit the right draw and, and the right opponent that uh, they will come up first. Obviously, it's going to be a nervous time for them because it'll be the first time they've been uh, in such a, a, a big event. And, uh, so, uh, but talent-wise, we work hard. We work really hard. I mean, I we took a, a Tongan team in 2010. And uh, we came back with two medals. And this team was no different in terms of quality of fighters. So, you know, probably, this team probably better on, on the book. Yeah, but uh, definitely um, we're not going there to make up the numbers. You know, somehow we went to the national and did we did well. Come back with national champion. We went to the Golden Gloves. Come back with six Golden Glove champions. So somehow, we, in between, we, you know, we managed to, uh, you know, managed to, 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 to tough it out, and uh, you know, but uh, yes, I, I couldn't be any happier given the circumstances of what's going around. So the boys will be ready. You know, this this guy's uh, quick ethics. You know, like Xavier, Duke, and De Niro. It's uh, make me look forward to this thing because you know a coach can only. You know, people say that coach will inspire the boxers. Uh, I'm the other way. I, I the fighters inspire me with their attitudes. You know, so yeah. So the harder they train, I, I get inspired and. and and uh, willing to help them go as far as they can. And now we're going to the Kingdom of Tonga with the Tutu on the Beach boys who went out to um, a young lady who's representing Tonga in shot put. Her name is Atama Ama Tutafaiva. Check her out. Malo Lele, ko hingwa ko Atama Ama Tutafaiva. Ko te ute wa tu ke fafonga ya Tonga. E ko mno fkein. Pa te utok tata no atu. Lolo Tonga e tau puro kalama. I love short put. It's a one main game. If I do well to come out of game, I will qualify to the Olympics. At 25 years old, Atta is heading to Birmingham for her second Commonwealth Games. She has represented Tonga in both shot put and discus at the South Pacific Games in Samoa, where she won gold in shot put and a bronze in discus. From there, she went on to take the shot put title at the 2017 Pacific Mini Games and competed at her first Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. As a young female Tongan shot putter, she has said Dame Valerie Adams is her idol and she got to compete against her at those games placing 10th. During the time she's been in training to go to this year's Commonwealth Games, Tonga was hit by the volcano eruption and subsequent tsunami, a COVID outbreak with the island going into lockdown and borders closed. It's often been very hard for her to train and even get equipment with the restrictions and lockdowns. Despite all of this, she won another two gold medals at the Pacific Mini Games in the Northern Mariana Islands and the Oceania Athletics Championships in Queensland. Atta's Rugby Academy coach Will Huffle says that she's also a beast playing rugby and he's trying for her to be the first contracted rugby woman from Tonga. One important advice from dead is pray and go to church. It's so cool to see such strong women being represented in sport as well as shot put and rugby, I believe she's doing as well. Yeah, apparently she's a beast in rugby. Yeah. 
and shout out to Dame Valerie who's also been helping her with her shot put. Yeah, so we're going to go catch up with Commonwealth Games athlete John Bucky, who's in the Tongan wrestling team. He talks to us about the history of wrestling in Tonga and how he's feeling heading into his first game. And then we're going to check out how the rest of the Tongan wrestling team is going with their prep leading up to the Commonwealth Games. Uh, Tongan wrestling was, um, from my understanding, deep in our heritage. It's been around for years. Uh, from my understanding, they've said that it's been, it was a little bit more brutal back in the day, a more barbaric type style of wrestling, until uh, a more um, sports specific type of wrestling was introduced, which was um, introduced as sumo. Uh, sumo wrestling and sumo wrestling became big in Tonga um, mostly because it took a little bit away from I guess wrestling to the death but more about using your athleticism to get paid because of, it became it became a real interest when you could start making a living out of it. Um, from sumo wrestling in Tonga they started to progress into uh, professional wrestling which is where you start to see some of the legends like Haku and the Barbarian and some of those um, people that you've seen in um, WWE or WWF um, back in the day. But um, amongst all of that, there has been a little bit of an interest in freestyle wrestling, but it was more overshadowed by the interest of professional wrestling and things like sumo and areas like that where Tongans could um, make a living out of. Yeah, still do sumo wrestling, and we've got um, Doc Spale over there. Uh, he also has his own school in South Auckland that teaches professional wrestling. Um, yeah, so it's really, Wrestling is in our blood and bones. Yeah, I feel feel very stoked, uh, very honoured to be able to go out there and represent our heritage and uh, push the agenda that we have forward, um, which is to promote uh, wrestling in Tonga. Uh, like I said before, we're more in the style of sumo wrestling and professional wrestling, um, but wrestling is in our bones. Right from the roots, we used to wrestle to death almost. So, um, Freestyle wrestling uh, or Greco-Roman wrestling, the style of wrestling that we're about to compete in in the Commonwealth is um, our vision behind it is to promote that and push that agenda forward in Tonga so we can have more people like us. Aaron, uh, one of our athletes, have, has been trying uh, for many years to get this over the line. Um, for one reason or another, it just hasn't um, quite worked out yet, um, trying to get a, a Tongan wrestling team over to the Commonwealth Games. So from my understanding, this is the first time uh, Tonga will have a wrestling uh, team going over. Um, and for me, myself, this will be my first time heading over to the Commonwealth Games. I've been wrestling for a while now, since I was about 12. And it's just been uh, something that's been just ongoing, especially with uh, our coach, Amir. We've been with him for, for a long time now. I started in Australia, I was actually doing Jiu-Jitsu. Did a bit of wrestling just to kind of better my Jiu-Jitsu, but then figured out wrestling was a bit better than Jiu-Jitsu <laughs> at the end. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, they offered wrestling um, at my brother's boxing gym. Amir was uh, the coach, so I just started taking it up and really enjoyed it. Yeah, I guess I just started wrestling in high school. Um, wasn't very good at rugby, so... We had a few competitions uh, here in New Zealand and in Australia as well, um, which we all had to qualify at least come top three, in which we did. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what's really kept us and put us in the position to go to the Commonwealth Games. Uh, it's an honour really being able to represent my country and um, my family, so, yeah, especially at such a young age. Myself personally, we've, um, I've been a national champion uh, in 125, uh, North Island champ, Wilkins champ as well, uh, just throughout the years. Silver, silver in for nationals for Australia, mm, yeah. Uh, I've got a gold in the national champs for 72 kilos and gold for North Island champs at 68. Um, I think my best result, probably my last one, was national champion in Australia. So. It's good to probably give back to my parents. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, for me personally, it's been a it's been a huge dream to to represent Tonga. Uh, I think as a as a young kid, you know, being growing up here in New Zealand, also hearing about Tonga and just growing up in the uh, Tongan culture with my dad. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's been. Um, very, very thankful and very yeah, just fortunate, fortunate to, to represent this country. Uh, yeah, just feeling grateful and really lucky to be able to represent Tonga. Yeah, just like they said, um, to honour my family, I guess. That's the big, my biggest reason to put my best foot forward and to do the best that I can possibly be is really to honour my family, um, honour my dad, honour my brother, honour my mum.
No, we're just, uh, just grateful to have the opportunity to go, especially with everything that's happening in Tonga, the uh, station over there. And, uh, you know, as much as we can say we want to do it for our, our, our families, and we definitely want to do it for the people of Tonga. You know, we, um, Tonga hasn't had a gold medal yet, and we'll be, we'll be hunting to grab that gold medal and bring it back for them. So. It's nice to hear that Tiger Lily's getting the support of her team mates, like especially with um, an experienced person like John Lucky, who's been in the um, game for ages. Mm. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's it, folks. If you're wondering when and where you can watch all the people that have been on the show today, uh, tune in from the 28th of July to the 8th of August. I'm pretty sure it's free to air, otherwise Sky Sports would be the go. Mm -hmm. And if you just want to comment and subscribe um, and let us know if you've actually got any other family members representing any of our Pacific Nations at the Commonwealth Games, it would be awesome to know about them. So please comment and subscribe as per usual. And that's it for us. Fifth gold. <laughs> right.